LEAD is Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. And LEAD is a program that the USGBC, the Green Building Council, has implemented and is becoming the, the nationwide way of rating. It's been in commercial use for a, quite some time and in architecture primarily, but now it's moving into primary residential homes. And this is pretty new. The, the program's been in a two-year pilot and has just now, in 2008, come out with a, a rating system that builders and community builders can actually use. Three basic components to green building and benefits to a homeowner. Uh, the first one is better air quality. By using the LEED principles and green building principles, the indoor air quality has improved greatly. Uh, the second, and probably the most meaningful to most people, is energy savings. Uh, it kind of comes down to the bottom dollar on a, on a monthly, then yearly, and lifespan of a home of how much energy that home uses compared to an average new built home. And the third is actually using sustainable resources, recycled materials, sustainable resources to produce the home. LEED embraces part of the Energy Star program, which is the Environmental Protection Agency's program that has been around for quite some time in new home building. But a Energy Star home is about 70 to 80 percent more efficient than the standard new built home as far as an energy savings. That's really where Energy Star stops. LEED takes it a step further with renewable resources, sustainable resources, and the LEED Platinum certification, which is what we strive to achieve on our new homes at Battery Island, is, can be up to 50% more energy efficient than the normal, normal new built home. So if your energy bill is 200 a month, it would be 100 a month. And that can really do some significant savings to the homeowner. The site is very important in the way that the building is oriented on the site. Um, we try to use passive solar elements as well as just the architecture and the lead um, elements. The um, passive solar, by siting the house properly and having windows in the proper locations, porches, deep overhangs and so forth, you're able to use the sun shading, sun exposures that um, use less energy in the home. So we think the siting is very important. Also the landscape architecture can add to the LEED certification. We get a number of points for um, creating a landscape that's zero scape, that doesn't require irrigation. We're also, um, we also get points for collecting rainwater and using that rainwater for irrigation. We plant trees on the western side of the building so that you have uh, leaves in the summer to shade the building and in the winter the deciduous trees drop leaves and then you get the sun that warms the house in the wintertime. So I think there are a lot of elements of the landscape that are very important. 